So impact ionization is a process in a material by which one energetic charge carrier can lose energy by the creation of other charge carriers. We'll quickly understand this. Right now, what we need to understand is impact ionization is some sort of a process in which one energetic charge carrier, in this case, electrons are very highly charged, right? So something this electrons will do and that what they are going to do is they will lose their own energy by the creation of other charge carriers. So in semiconductors, an electron or a hole with enough kinetic energy, which is to be the case right now with us, can knock a bound electron out of its bound state. What does this mean? If an electron is moving with very high kinetic energy, it can knock out an electron from its current state and put it into another state. For example, I've shown here, this is the electron with very high kinetic energy. It is knocking down this electron one, which is in valence band to conduction band due to impact ionization. And this will lead to the absence of electron in the valence band, which is nothing but the presence of hole or an electron hole pair is generated. So this electron which moved here due to impact ionization from valence band to conduction band will lead to the absence of electron which is nothing but an hole or an electron hole pair is generated. Now because there are so many of these electrons which are moving with such high energy, a lot of these electrons will transfer their energy to the electrons in the valence band and move them from valence band to conduction band leaving behind a lot of electron hole pairs. The holes which are going to be the p-type will go back to the p-substrate which will lead to a substrate current which is technically not desirable. However, the electrons will move toward the oxide layer. Now see an interesting thing which is happening. We know that there is another electric field also which is present which is nothing but E vertical which is again given by VGS by TOX. Again if we presume that VGS is not scaled down and TOX is then E vertical is also increasing right because t dash o x is equal to s times t o x now when e vertical is also increasing it will try to pull the electrons towards itself here we have seen that the electrons because of impact ionization electron hole pairs are created holes will move towards the substrate leading to substrate current the electrons will move towards the oxide and because of the high electric field a lot of electrons will move towards the gate but there will be some electrons which will get trapped into this oxide and here is a very interesting thing which we'll be using as a concept for flash memories and EPROMs. Now when these electrons get trapped into this oxide, what's technically going to happen is, suppose this is my MOS, this is my oxide, this is my metal. Now there are some electrons which are getting trapped here, correct? So now the next time when you apply your threshold voltage to turn your transistor on or to form your channel, this threshold voltage has to take into consideration some amount of voltage to overcome this negative charge which is getting developed on the SiO2 layer. It will have to overcome this and then only the transistor can turn on. So technically a device which was turning on for a low threshold voltage now will require a higher threshold voltage to turn on. And this carriers or this Electrons which move into the oxide layer will affect the overall characteristics, the value of the currents also in your device. This concept will be studying in details, which is nothing but a floating gate concept in that we add on an additional gate, but it is very similar for you to understand right now that when the charge is getting trapped into the oxide layer, you have to take into the equation of the threshold voltage, the value to overcome that charge and hence your threshold voltage will increase and your device characteristics will change. And in this case, for the same threshold voltage, which your transistor was turning on, now will turn on with a higher threshold voltage and overall your value of ID will reduce. That means if ID is reducing, your resistance is increasing, your resistance is increasing in layman's language, delay is equal to R into the load capacitance. Your resistance was increasing, means your delay is increasing and your speed is becoming slow. This is one of the short channel effect hot carrier effect or hot electron effect. Hope you have followed it. Stay tuned for further clips and thank you very much.